Almighty God created the races white, black, yellow, Malay, and red. And he placed them on separate continents. And but for the interference with his arrangement, there would be no cause for such marriages. And the fact that he placed the races on separate continents proves that he did not intend for the races to mix. Virginia, 1958. The black and white headlines seemed ironic. Loving's, Loving's arrested, arrested for illegal, illegal marriage. marriage. Who is this colored woman next to you? I'm his wife. The, the unwitting, unwitting confession, confession of a crime. crime. Forced, forced from, from their beds, beds at 2 a.m. The clean white sheets. Took on a dark new meaning. In direct violation of the Racial Integrity Act, the, the Lovings, Lovings went from newlyweds to felons in a matter of seconds. A honeymoon in a holding cell. If love in different shades of melanin makes up felon them, where did my crime begin? I remember when we locked eyes for the first time. One day at the racetrack, I pulled my head out from under the hood long enough to catch you staring. When we first met, I didn't like him, you know. He was arrogant. But I got to know him, and he was a very nice person. My heart got to revving loud in that supercharged engine. Ain't no sense even considering race when your heart racing like that. Like, there ain't no word for such thing. No time to consider them. No time at all, really. Just that my eyes and that roaring heart ready to race down any road that leads to you. I never knew that road would take us to the Supreme Court. Never gave a damn about what people consider to be civil or right. I just love my wife. You just tell them I love my wife. I didn't know we were breaking any laws. Didn't know that a day trip wedding to Washington would become nine years of trying to get back home. I never imagined we'd be sneaking back to visit my mother for Christmas or that my children would become evidence in a trial. It is not infrequent that the children of intermarry parents are referred to not merely as the children of intermarry parents, but as the victims of intermarry parents, or as the martyrs of intermarry parents. Feeling like we might as well have been sentenced when the cinder block walls of D.C. felt like a prison to me. I couldn't stand it, being forced to live a life in the shadows with a man who is truly the light of my life. I had to do something. I wrote a letter to Mr. Robert Kennedy. I told him that it's the law that's the problem. I don't think it's right. The, the power, power of love cannot, cannot be underestimated. underestimated. Their marriage forced any opponents to contradict themselves each time they spoke their last name. In an act of true integrity, two young and ambitious lawyers peeled back the laws that protected supremacy, arguing, arguing that, that the dignity of love is a universal right. We have some enemies, but we have some friends too. After a nine-year battle, it took only one day for all nine Supreme Court justices to rule unanimously that anti-miscegenation laws were unconstitutional, ending the ban on interracial marriage in 15 other states. This, this poem, poem is, is for, for the, the Lovings, who didn't ask for a historic fight for civil rights. But her offhand living room comment proved prophetic. Maybe it'll help others, too. Now, the state motto reads true. Virginia, Virginia is, is for lovers. lovers. We're two lovers from Virginia, and we've never had to fight for that. So to Richard and Mildred, may you, may you go, go on loving one another forever. And for, for all the trials that you went through, thank you. Mm. Yeah.